Hey team, Sai here, host of I Am Psycom on Twitter all this week, and here's my wrap up of day three. It was great chatting to people last night in the US. Lots of science jokes from Dr. Jeff meant that I couldn't sleep till about 2 a.m. because I was laughing so much. We probably need a separate video for his tsunami of jokes, science jokes. Samantha continued to think about women in science and how that would affect our human impact. Roy Margarita and I talked about engaging both interested and uninterested groups to communicate the science of anthropogenic climate change. Of course, it's not simple. It involves a lot of psychology, keeping it fun, practical and engaging, with a big emphasis on why, as well as reducing the negative emotion, but putting emphasis on action, both personally and globally, with a little sense of urgency. <laughs> We discussed connections, as I'm all about that. Kat and I talked about different worldviews leading to an environmental connection. We looked at the big picture of sustainability and how Aboriginals have done that here for 40,000 years. So environmental science is not sexy science and doesn't get a lot of attention, but it's important to realize that if we can't sustain our own health and habitat, then the exciting research will suffer. My favorite science joke was from Jeff. I've heard that Darwin exercised every morning because he believed in survival of the fittest. <laughs> Honorable mention to our moderator, Gene, with this one. What do you call a tooth in a litre of water? A one molar solution. But the winner on by popularity was Jeremy from Oregon. Mum, why does my brother's beak look different than mine? I always worried that you'd ask me about this one day. It's a secret, so you can't tell anyone, but your brother's adapted. Thanks for the contributions, everyone. I'm looking forward to more tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Bye.